Good day, YouTube. Hey, it's the uh, 22nd of February, 2017, and we're working on the Boyer Town, the Step Van 1962, and working on the wiper system. This is a vacuum operated wiper motor, and yesterday, fiddled with it for a while, I shot some ATF inside where the vacuum hose connects and uh, kind of let that sit a little bit and eventually uh, got it working just by hooking the hose straight up to manifold vacuum which in most cases in a lot of cars that's all there was um, I've had vehicles before that there's been a vacuum pump on the fuel pump and uh, those actually worked okay um, I mean I've looked at what it would take to change this out to electric motor and I'd have to put like I'd have to put the whole system on it and build most of the rods and you'd have like 400 bucks in it and a couple of days work and uh look at this little thing i'm not sure she's worth it so my goal is to make the wipers work uh, they may not work great but to make them work with what we got and what they had added to this vehicle to make uh, a weak vacuum situation work that motor better is an electric pump and there it is so i've just got it uh, I, I fiddled with it yesterday. I put a 12 volt battery charger to the hot terminal and it pegged it out the battery charger, which means the motor's probably okay, but something in there is just stuck. It won't turn. So my goal right now is to pull this motor out. I think I got everything disconnected, so I just kind of pulled it out of the, the bracket. Oh, that's a heavy little dude. So I had to clip that ground wire because they buried the screw under that bracket. And, uh, I think I'll take it to the shop and uh, take it apart. It's got a little switch on it right there. My guess is, I've never seen one of these before. My guess is when you apply vacuum from the engine, it operates that switch and turns the motor on because it's in line with the hot lead and then the ground was connected below. So it's got screws and stuff on it. So uh, let's take it in the shop and uh, take it apart. Take it apart. See all my, my junk laying around. in the door so this is the milking room as we call it this is where i work on my small engine projects but this is where we'll work on this guy try and take it apart here so let me find i should have had this uh, cell set up but, uh, but i didn't crash bang get you set up here real quick and here we go. Wish I'd have done that this way. In the first place. Nice. Sorry that took five minutes. Now let's take this thing. I'm going to put another glove on. So it's just two couple screws. We're just gonna pull this apart real quick, see how it comes apart. I can put my glove on the right direction. Then I don't have to wash my hands when I'm all said and done with this thing. So, see if the screw will turn. And it's got nuts on the top side. Absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm going to need a wrench. I just recently started working on top of this big toolbox. And uh, I can tell you it saves you a lot of steps. 5 16 you really think it's that small? It is. Oh, darn. Okay, 5 16 on the top side. Your driver on the bottom, she's gonna come right apart. Like I said, I've put power to it and it pegged out the battery charger, which means there's continuity through the windings of the motor. So I, I'm glad, you know, and it's kind of a good tip too to use a battery charger, don't just hook it to a battery, because if it gets too much current through there, obviously it'll just burn it out. And luckily, through the years, nobody's done that, because I would like to salvage this thing. 
and if it's just mechanically screwed up, then it electrically should be fine. I need to find a slot in that rusty old screw. Okay, I'm on. Go in smaller. Smaller screwdriver. It is so caked in there with 60 years of garbage. Okay, let's loosen the nut. Because that was working. Go with what works, right? Don't fight it. Hey, it's starting to rain outside. It's not like we're having drought conditions. Anymore. We've had a lot of rain this year. Okay, we're just going to open this up and see what treasures are inside. But I'm hoping it's a real easy fix. You know, the wiper arms were just rusted. You know, they got bushings in them and everything, but they were still so rusted that the wiper arms wouldn't hardly move. So I'm going to take all that stuff apart and soak them out in my vinegar and water to get all the rust off of them, and then you kind of repaint all the wiper uh, linkage as soon as we figure out that I can get this motor to work. Because if I can't get the motor to work, it's all for nothing. I'll bet those are screws as well. Right there and right there. I didn't see those coming. So, can I turn it? Survey says, bigger. Or strip it out. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Three down, one to go. Three down, one to go. 62 Boyer Town, a windshield wiper electric vacuum motor. Never seen one before. I looked on the internet. I could find nothing on these old dogs. I have seen new ones, which might also be an option for me is to replace this motor with a new one. I have no idea what to get. Okay, and time. As MC would say. Come on. Come on. I can see something going on. Come on. Just pry, pry, pry. Come on. It's a moving. It didn't grow there, as my dad used to say. Sweep. Okay. Does the motor turn? Mm, no. Does the pump turn? Let me find some pliers. We're just going to do a quick diagnosis and then we'll come back with a part two here. Does not turn. Careful with this shaft does not turn. Okay, so what we got, everything's froze up, but everything that is froze can be unfroze. That's my opinion. So I'm going to endeavor to spray some PB Blaster down all of the holes, let it sit for a day or two. That stuff is miraculous. And uh, we'll see if we can get this thing freed up a little bit. So the shaft inside this vacuum pump is stuck. The motor shaft is stuck. I think the motor's good. I'm going to lube it up, see if we can free it up, and uh, I say it'll run. So stay tuned for part two of this vacuum motor pump 12 volt out of the boiler town for the wiper system. Okay? Thanks for watching and subscribing, and uh, come on back.